Hello everyone and welcome back to our English lessons for level one. Today is unit six, the first part. The title of this unit is Every Day. We are gonna study the time, present simple with he and she, always, sometimes, never, words that go together and days of the week. So let's get started with exercise number one and here we write the times. You are going to listen and repeat and write the times from number six to number ten. Let's listen. Unit six. Tape script six point one. The time. One. It's nine o'clock. Two. It's 9.30. 3. It's 9.45. 4. It's 10 o'clock. 5. It's 10.15. 6. It's 2 o'clock. 7. It's 2.30. 8. It's 2.45. 9. It's 3 o'clock. 10. It's 3.15. Uh, so now you can pause the video, write the times from number 6 to number 10, then play the video and check your answers. Uh, so here are the answers. And I have a question. Can I say it's 9.30 o'clock? It's 9.45 o'clock. It's 10.15 o'clock. Of course not. We just say it's 9 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock. If it's sharp. If it's sharp. We use o'clock. Now, you can ask and answer about the time. You can say what time is it, please? Or what's the time, please? What time is it? What's the time? Then you tell the time. So number one is done for you. Look at number one. What time is it, please? It's nine o'clock. Thank you very much. Try to practice about number two, three, four, five. For example, number two, what time is it? Yes, it's 7.15. So you say it's 7.15. It's 7.15. And so on. Try to practice. Let's move on to another exercise. And here we ask about routine. We will study the present sample with I and you. And we have a question here. What time do you get up? When you ask someone about the time now, you say, what time is it or what's the time? But when you talk about routine, we say, what time do you? What time do you? Get up, what time do you go to school? What time do you play football? What time do you watch TV? And so on. So here we talk about routine. For this exercise, you are going to listen to Kim talking about her school days. Listen and circle the times. So she is talking about her school days. What does she do during school days? And you have to circle the right time. Number one, I get up at 7.45. So what about the other photos from number two to number seven? Listen and circle the time. Tape script 6.3. Kim's day. Well, on school days, I get up at 7.45. I have breakfast at 8 and I go to school at 8.30. I have lunch in school with my friends. That's at 12.15. It's early in our school. I leave school at 3.30 in the afternoon and I walk home with my friends. I get home at 4.30, have tea and watch television. I go to bed at 11 o'clock on school days but later at the weekend, of course. <laughs>
okay so you can pause the video listen again and write the times then play the video and check your answers so here are uh, the answers when you talk about your routine your daily routine what you do every day you say i get up at and then tell the time i get up at six o'clock i get up at seven i get up at 7 40. you can say i get up early or i get up late okay so early maybe at five six or seven but if you get up late it will be at nine or ten then you say i have breakfast at eight or at seven I go to school, I have lunch, I leave school at, it means that you uh, go out from school and you go home. So you leave school, I leave school uh, at 3.30 in the afternoon. So I go to school in the morning, but I leave school in the afternoon. I walk home with my friends, or you can say I go home by car. I get home at 4.30. I go to bed at 11. So this is the daily routine. And we have a question here. What time do you get up? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you go to work? What time do you go to bed? What time do you leave school or leave work? Then you answer, I go to work at 8.15. I leave school at, I leave work at, I get up at, I have breakfast at. So try to practice asking and answer questions about your day now let's move on to another exercise and here we talk about somebody else so here we talk about earlier today when you talk about another one we will use present simple with he or she you are not talking about yourself so when you say i get up here you talk about yourself i get up at six but when you talk about another one you say look at number one he gets up at six o'clock and he has a shower so i get up at six i have breakfast or i have a shower i have breakfast at okay but here we talk about another one you talk about elliot maddox you talk about your brother your sister so you say he gets up, he has breakfast, she has a shower, and so on. So you are going to read about Elliot Maddox and look at the pictures here. Read and write the times. Read and write the times. Look at number one. He gets up at six o'clock and he has a shower. What about number two? Look here. He has breakfast at exactly 645 so you are going to write here 645 so look at the pictures from number one to number eight and write the times here now pause the video write the times then play the video and check your answers i am going to pause it and write the answers Okay, so here are the answers. You have to listen and check your answers. Tape script 6.5 Elliot's Day He gets up at 6 o'clock and has a shower. He has breakfast at 6.45. He leaves home at 7.15 and he goes to work by taxi. He has lunch, a Coca-Cola and a sandwich, in his office at one o'clock. He always works late. He leaves work at eight o'clock in the evening. He sometimes buys a pizza and eats it at home. He gets home at 9.15. He never goes out in the evening. He works at his computer until 11.30. 
He always goes to bed at 11.45. He watches television in bed. So if you look again at these verbs that I highlighted, all of these verbs end with S because we talk about another one, somebody else. We talk about he or she. So he gets up, he has a shower, he has breakfast. He leaves home. He goes to work by taxi. He has lunch. Works. Leaves. Buys. Eats. Gets home. Goes. Works. Goes to bed. Watches television. Okay? But when you talk about yourself, you say, I get up. I have. I leave. I go. We don't add S. So we add S to the verb with he or she. We add the S here. It's not plural. But we add S to the verb in the present simple when we talk about routine. Okay? What's the meaning of leaves home? Leave home. Exactly. You gather the manzil. Okay, good. And buys a pizza. Buy a pizza. I buy a pizza. Yes, Terry. Yes, good. Excellent. Gets home. I get home. He gets home. Great. Yasil al bayt awl manzil. So, all the verbs here end with S. If you look again at these sentences, we use always, sometimes, never, before the verb. So, we use always. If you do something every day, 100%. And we use sometimes, if you do something four days a week, 50%. And we use never if you don't do the verb, 0%. We use always, sometimes, never before the verb. Look here, number seven or number six, he sometimes buys. We don't say he buys sometimes. Number seven, he never goes. Don't say he goes, never. Number eight, he always goes. Don't say he goes to bed always. Okay? When you talk about yourself, don't use S. I sometimes buy a pizza. I never go out in the evening. I always go to bed. Okay? So to pronounce S at the end of the verb, we say gets up. Works, eats, so we say it s or z like lives, leaves, has, buys, goes, does, or is like watches. Now we've come to the end of our lesson today. Thanks for joining me and meet you again with another video.